Hey guys, Beck here. I wasn't going to do a video today simply because of the way that I'm feeling. And then I was told to stop reacting to feelings and to start responding in faith. <laughs> okay, because we know what's going on in the next few days. And guys, we have had... It's horrible muck here. It's just... That's the only nice little bit over there. And look, it was dripping before. I don't even bother to film it when it's like that because it's so distressing. They're terraforming this place for themselves. So we know what's going on tomorrow at Sanusos. And I really feel that if they don't... If nothing happens, then... They didn't do it when they said, okay, I just want to put that out there. I think if something doesn't happen, that they've switched the dates, but they're telling everybody that it'll be that date. Because, guys, we know we can't, we can't trust them at all just because they say they're going to turn it on. They may have already done it. Somebody made a, a, a bit of a point. Look, <laughs> I have never subscribed to, come on, Bobo, the three days of darkness doctrine if you want to call it I, I've never subscribed to that guys I really haven't but somebody did say what if when they kick her up it up it what if it's the three days of darkness because there is some sort of electromagnetic pulse if you know what I mean so that is possible I don't I have not read in the scriptures a definitive three days of darkness so I still don't know where they get this idea um, however I did I have heard it is a Roman RCC let's say um, it's one of their beliefs and because it was one of their beliefs I never looked into it I actually did actually I tell a little fib there I'm sorry guys but I will correct myself instantly um, I did a long time ago. It wasn't actually a fib because I sort of forgot I did it. I did look into that and there was this girl called Kerry Ann Gidden. And oh my. There's some strange ones out there. Look, m people might think I'm strange. So that's cool. I don't mind. But we have to be very careful. You know what I'm talking about. And this, uh, this lady, this young lady that was I just mentioned, I'm not bagging her out or anything. I just, that is the one thing I remember about the three days of darkness. Doctrine was what she used to say about it. I know there were others that had channels on it. Please pray for Bo. He's really starting to go down and, well, he's not. He's just got slower and slower and, oh, he's such a trier. He's, he doesn't want to give up. Look, he wants to go back to the car, I think. Like, yeah, like he, he's never done this. He's been doing this for a couple of weeks. So please pray for mercy for him. That's all. I know he's not going to get an extended life now, but pray for mercy for him to have peace. And I am sorry about this case again, guys. I just realised that it's doing that blackening on the uh, left-hand edge there. I really apologise. I can't do much about it until I buy a new one. All right, so this is quite a nice park, isn't it? It's just something different. I've bought them somewhere different. I try to do, you know, a different park every day. I think it's good for them and it's good for me. So we will see where this this Sonusus leads us, whether it be the next few days or the next few weeks. What I did see was Real GS News is saying that uh, I know others are saying it. I just took it off uh, Lewis's channel. Um, that Russia has been HIT'd and uh, the bear's taken a hit. Mm. So apparently they're going to come out swinging. Now, the, the timing of this, think about it. The timing of this with what's going on in the next couple of days. And they're saying within the next 48 hours that they're threatening to do something. They're gonna come out all blazing 
in, in the next 48 hours. So we'll see. We know there's always these threats and threats, and there have been for years and years, but we cannot be the mockers and scoffers, guys. We can't be the ones that says, oh, this has always been happening. This will go on and on and on. We know better than that. We just don't know exactly when they're going to start it, but we do know it will happen. And to all those people that told us we were wrong, I seriously pray for you. I seriously pray you find Yeshua. I do, because this is going to get scary. It's about to get real out here. That's all I can say. And I am not in fear. I just had a bit of a... You know, I don't know. It's this spiritual cloud over me today. It's it's like the clouds. It's just hanging. It's gnarly. You know, and it's good. I have to go and do some work. So it'll go put my mind off it. It's, that's really glad. I'm glad I have to do some work. So I'm not going to be left to my own devices of letting this get to me, which I don't. I try not to do that. But sometimes, as we all know, these feelings can be so overwhelming. Um, we really need to run to, to just into our prayer closet we need to run into our prayer closet and get your bible make sure you're discerning it properly because we all know it's changed there is no doubt there's no doubt the people who say it's not happening those church leaders and pastors wow they're in trouble man they're in trouble because they know and they would know way more of the changes than we do. And there are so many, it's changing. There's thousands now. Go to EYA News. If you don't believe me, you need to look into this. There is a supernatural veil has been torn. And this is how they can do it. Because the Bibles in our own homes have changed. Bo, do you want water? You can't tell me. Look. I've, we, I'm sure we've all argued this point, guys. Oh, what they'll do is, well, go to the concordance and look at it. And you're saying, don't you realise the concordance has also been changed to accommodate for the, the satanic changes? Let's just call them what they are. And this is a big deal. This is the most um, important of all the umbrella things we've learned on our journey. We learned about the enclosed system. We learned they lied about all that. We learned our history is a complete lie. And we've also learned the Bible has changed. But which out of those is a salvation issue? Think about it. Only one. You can only pick one. Because it really is only one is a full salvation issue. Yes, if they don't believe in the enclosed system, which is what the Bible teaches, and if they don't believe in what the Bible teaches, that means they're believing in a very big lie. But, however, if they don't believe that the aliens are from outer space, they will still be okay. So that, it to me, is not a full salvation issue. It's not. So what is, is the Bible changes and people saying, whoever they are, be aware of these people who say, no, that's not happening. They are under a strong delusion. You know why? It's very simple. They did not love the truth. And I kept asking, why don't some people see it? Why don't some people see it? And the reason is because they are too scared. They are too scared to open their eyes. Yeah, because it's a hard pill to swallow, isn't it, guys? It's bitter. It goes down sideways and it's got little <laughs> hooks and points in it, doesn't it? Okay, so I can see why they don't want to, but that doesn't make it go away. All they've done is pushed it right aside until the right to the end, and now they don't have time to, you know, they're going to be like hit sideways with a sledgehammer because they didn't see it coming because they didn't want to admit that uh, what we were saying was right. That, you know, it is a hard pill, especially... The men, I, I, I understand you men who have got women who have been the watch women and they've been telling you, and I understand your ego as men, I do, not to um, want to accept that because it's from your wife and you think that you should be hearing from the father. I understand that, you know, because you're the man of the house and stuff. And I'm not speaking to anybody in particular here. Please don't think this is a cryptic message to somebody. It's not. It is what it is. This message is for everybody and 
if we don't see what's going on and call it out, we become a coward and we become a part of it. And so if it ever, you don't have to yell it from the rooftops, but if it ever comes up, we need to be courageous enough to stick up for God's true word, which has been changed. You know, we really don't know how long this has been going on. They document from 2000 onwards, but we, we don't know. It could have been going on the whole last century, right? Because we only, well, no. We know when we read the Bible when it's Holy Spirit inspired. You can feel it in your spirit. You know what's right. You know what's wrong. That's why he said to all of us back then, hide the word in your heart. Because he knew it was going to change. So, if we hid it in our heart, great. If you didn't, you're not going to know what it said compared to what the change is. So that's going to make it very difficult. It is aimed at the new believers. The ones who are going to come to this because of um, uh, fear. They, they will. There's be a lot of people that will be turning to the Bible. Maybe not just yet, but boy, by the by the time they get to it, it's going to have changed so much. So much. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dearie, dear. <laughs> what do you think about that? I just turned around. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to play it really safe with people. I'm going to stick to my channel because when I tell people out in the flesh now, They've heard it, they've heard it, they've heard it, they've heard it. I'm done. And I pray that I don't fall into some sort of trap and get hooked into talking about it and then getting upset. Not, you know, not flying off the handle, but spiritually really unhinged when these things occur. Now, when, when somebody attacks you over something that you know that you're going to stand by to the death, it really shakes you. So if you haven't had it happen yet, wow, wait for your first one. You'll feel it. It's like arrows through your heart. I'm sure we have all had it. Anybody listening here, more than likely. So I just wanted to say that, keeping, yeah, we obviously all of us are going to be keeping an eye on uh, Sanusos. And um, we are also going to be keeping an eye on what's going on in, uh, you know, with the bear and the, the blue and the yellow people. And... Um, but never fear because he said all who call on his name in the end will be saved remember from where your salvation comes from now lift your heads and pray every day come on because this is it it's not far to go something's going to change something's going to give and he gave us fair warning do it now do not be killed or pass away some other way without Yeshua in your heart Jesus just ask the Father to reveal himself to you and to reveal his son to you through his word open the Bible read it do not be scared he will show you the changes you will know that it shouldn't be there all right family I'm gonna go that's just a quick one to this morning it's very cold very very cold and I hear it's cold in par parts of the states which is really weird um, and if this guy tells you any sort of a story today, it's really good compared to what it was. Okay? Really good compared to what it was. <laughs> like an hour ago. Alright guys, I love you. This is Beck. I seriously pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon each and every person that's listened to this. I pray for courage and strength, not through trial though. I pray for courage and strength and I pray for faith of the brethren to be increased in this time in Yeshua's name. I pray for us all. Have mercy, Abba Father.